final thing I want to share with you here is applicable to all musicians and it's an articulation exercise and specifically an articulation improvisatory exercise. So learning to improvise with articulation. We're going to use a very simple scale widely known as a bebop scale, a dominant bebop scale or an eight note octatonic jazz dominant scale. It's known by a lot of different things, but essentially on this B flat tenor saxophone, it's a C major scale with an added note. And that added note is a B flat. Ascending the scale, it's going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, B natural, C. Descending the scale is C, B, B flat, A, G, F, E, D, and back to C. Just some quick theory as to why this scale is really special in jazz improvisation. And it has to do with a harmonic rhythmic counterpoint in that chord tones, one, three, five, if it's a dominant chord, the flat seven, so one, three, five, flat seven, if those chord tones occur on the downbeats, like on a beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four, then there is a strong harmonic counterpoint in that bass players tend to be playing uh, chord tones on downbeats. And if you are playing a chord tone on a downbeat, then you will be harmonically playing the same strong rhythmic counterpoint in that consistent chord tones on downbeats. Now the passing tones in the scale, if we're using eighth notes, are going to be all the other notes. So a, um, a C on, let's say it's a C dominant seventh, C seven. C is the root, D would be a passing tone. E, we're ascending the scale. E is the third happening on a downbeat. F passing tone, G is the fifth happening on a downbeat, A is a passing tone, B flat happening on a downbeat, B natural passing tone or leading tone into C uh, octave higher on a downbeat. And the same thing, the theory holds true if you're descending. There's all, as long as you start the scale, either ascending or descending, starting on a chord tone, one, three, five, flat seven, there will always be this strong harmonic rhythmic counterpoint of having a chord tone on a downbeat. All right, so that's some basic jazz theory there. Now the articulation exercise is we're going to improvise with different articulations, only improvising with the articulations. The scale is going to stay constant. And we're going to see how creative we can be with only articulation, changing and having fun playing with the articulation. I have an app on my phone as a metronome. So if I play the scale from 
ascending and descending, here's what it sounds like. No articulation, just slurring everything. Okay, here's tonguing everything. Here is slurring for, tonguing for. Here is slurring to, tonguing to. Here is slurring three, tonguing one. Tonguing one, slurring three. All right, so there's many, many more variations in there as far as which notes to tongue and which notes to slur. Some of the most important articulation in jazz phrasing, what we call offbeat tonguing, uda. Ooh da, ooh da, ooh da, ooh da, ooh da. So it's slur tongue, slur tongue, slur tongue. All right, here we go. Now the opposite of that is tonguing on the downbeats. That last example was tonguing on all the upbeats, and now we're going to tongue on all the downbeats. All right, so it has a very square feeling to it, but the fun thing is, is with just those two articulations, if we improvise with just either, well, I'll improvise with just those last two articulations. And, and Sonny Rollins did this type of thing all the time, as did Cannonball Adderley. Now I'm going to put some of those other staccato articulations in, and I'm just going to improvise with articulation. The scale stays the same. So it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of expression that you can do with just the articulation. All right, so that is something sounds great on saxophone, but any instrument will benefit from thinking about articulation as an improvisatory tool. All right, thank you very much. It's been my pleasure sharing a few tips and tricks. Once again, my name is Ricky Swem. Feel free to look me up online, and uh, I'd love to connect with you. All right, until next time.